<laughs> right around the nation now, former President Donald Trump's criminal trial is now in the hands of the jury. He faces 34 counts of falsifying business records for allegedly covering up a hush money payment to an adult film star. CNN's Julia Benbrook has more. Former President Donald Trump is accused of taking part in an illegal conspiracy to undermine the integrity of the 2016 election and an unlawful plan to suppress negative information, which included concealing a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels to cover up an alleged affair. Trump denies the affair and has pleaded not guilty. Attorneys presented closing arguments on Tuesday. You can win your case on closing argument. I've seen it done time and time again. The defense is arguing that Trump wasn't involved in the hush money scheme and is trying to undermine the testimony of Trump's ex-attorney and star prosecution witness, Michael Cohen, calling it, quote, lies. The prosecution will not only be able to tell its tale, which it must do, of course, succinctly and clearly, uh, but it will also be able to rebut all of the defense points that it's able to. The prosecution is trying to corroborate Cohen's testimony by tying together all the text messages, phone logs, allegedly falsified documents, and witness testimony. Ultimately, a trial is all about storytelling for the jury. There are only 12 opinions that matter. After closing arguments, the judge delivers his instructions, a critical point in the case when the jury learns how to apply the law and weigh conflicting testimony and different kinds of evidence. The jury deliberation process could take days, even weeks. Now, it's important to emphasize the unprecedented nature of this case. Trump is the first former president to face criminal charges and is seeking another four years in the White House. Reporting in Manhattan, I'm Julia Benbrook.